I feel like the main problem as to why the Mavericks got shelled out in five is the fact that Luka looked gas, looked like he was out of shape. I mean, he's got a lot of potential if he can focus. They're comparing him to James Harden and whatnot, and the fact that, you know, he's not able to get the work in in the offseason, and he's not able to uh, produce, and he's not able to produce in the postseason specifically, and he's right. not able to transition his game into a winning style of basketball. Uh, my thing with Luka is I think he's going to be better than James Harden. I feel like, you know, arguably he already is. Luka has the same first-team All-NBA honors as Kyrie Irving, Russell Westbrook, and Damian Lillard combined, and he only has one less than Steph Curry and Chris Paul. Uh, I take Luka over Harden any day of the week. If he can get some help around him, maybe things could get interesting. The fact that Luka has that no-quit attitude in him, the fact that he can, you know, string together a 36-40 point game any given night or week, right. I think that's crazy. Yeah, James Harden can do the same thing, but James Harden is like hot and cold. James Harden's off and on. I didn't really see Luka go down that much. Yeah, like we said, his efficiency went down a little bit against the Warriors, but he but still was able to kind of make an impact. Most right. of that could be attributed to the fact that he was out of shape. There was a lot of things where. Uh, uh, <clears throat> Luca would not get back in transition on the other side of the ball, and he did remind me of James Harden, where like you know he'd throw yeah. the hands or just really not care, but he's frustrated. They're down three one, like he's embarrassed. Yeah. You know what I mean? It's there's tough. a lot of there's a lot of things I guess I can weigh into it. Definitely not an excuse, but uh, Luca Doncic, I don't think is in the same boat as Harden. Harden's boat is sinking, and I mean, like, the beard's weighing him down, and he's not able <laughs> to get out of the boat. Luka Doncic still has a lot of potential right. left. He's a young kid. He's only played four years in the NBA, and he really hasn't even played the majority of those four years. He's missed almost a quarter of each of the last three seasons. I think that if Luka Doncic way. can go, you know, get healthy, get in a better weight, get in a better, you know, physicality, even maybe a men mental state, get a little bit of help in Dallas, the sky's the limit. This kid could oh, be the yeah, best kid, best player in the NBA for years to come. Honestly, he could be one of the best. The dude's already world champion. What was he won the world title at 14 to 16 years old? The dude's <laughs> dude supposed young. to be in elementary school, and he's out here winning rings in Europe. Like, yeah. he's different. He's he's different for sure. And I think that the Mavericks are gonna uh, gonna try to highlight that different. Yeah, that and hopefully they can, I guess. Man. I feel like honestly, they're one step away from being in the finals next year. I mean, yeah. They, I mean, look, they were arguably one step away here right now. If they yeah. had an answer for that shooting and they were able to stay con consistent, a lot of things would have changed. You know, if you told me that the Mavericks and the Heat were meeting in the finals and we had the opposite matchup, I'd arguably say Luca might be able to pull this one out. It would really just be would who be would have been first, it, yeah. Jimmy or Luca.